Hey tennis fans, for the first time ever, welcome into Courtside Buzz. I'm Noah Wolf. And I'm Julie Alvaba, and we're here at the New York Open. Let's get right to the highlights. In the first round, it was an all-American showdown between USC Trojan Steve Johnson and Tennessee Volunteer Tennis Sandgren. The two had quite the bromance out there on the black courts. It was Johnson in control moving Sandgren side to side, using the momentum he had built, and also moving forward, doing what he does best, very crafty at the net. Johnson very dominant on his serve, winning 82% of first serve points. He moves on to round two. In the nightcap, it was Jack Sock playing his first singles match since last October, and to put it lightly, it showed just a bit. Taking on the 113th ranked American Marcus Giron, Giron actually took that first set 6-3. And in the second, it was more of the same. Giron used his speed and footwork to move Sock around the court, and Sock just can't keep pace. The 26-year-old American wins the second set 6-4 to four to take the match, closes it out with the ace, and he's on to the second round. Julia, at every tennis tournament, we know there's storylines that go uncovered. Oh, absolutely. But here we got you covered. This is Around the Grounds. Popper, the title sponsor of the event today. We uh, focus our programs on children with uh, autism and developmental needs. And we're trying to expand Popper's reach, and we want to make that reach come through through tennis. I got involved because my older brother um, is autistic, so I thought it would be really cool for you know the kids to experience what it's like to play tennis. So basically we all just lined up and we taught them like forehand, backhand volleys. What you want to imitate when you watch tennis is how they run for a ball and how they react when they miss a ball. But don't try to copy how they hit a ball. It's given me the drive to give something back and really to try to, more importantly, assimilate autistic kids and other children together to basically become a more inclusive charity. I think it's so important that people do things like this because they really don't get the opportunities to um, you know, experience, like play tennis. It's gratifying to see a little boy or girl hit the ball and smile. And that's what Top Barry does a lot is to give an opportunity to children. Wow, great story, guys. <laughs> you know, thanks. I mean, we, we really worked hard on putting that one together. I was going to ask you, Andreas, when was the last time you were first to do something? Oh, wow, when I was first to do something. Yeah. That's a good question. I mean, Struggling I, to have anything come to mind? Um, uh, maybe... Cooking for my wife. <laughs> Cooking for your wife. Well, I'd say congratulations are in order. Bravissimo. You are the first ever pro tennis player to appear on Courtside Buzz. Congratulations. Oh. You won a match today, and you're the first on Courtside Buzz. And now the catch is here. We're talking tennis without talking tennis, if that makes sense. So what we're going to ask you about today, you are an Italian guy who lives in Colorado. Tell us, why are you there? And it's definitely got to be for more than just the great skiing. Yeah, that's also a good question. I mean, my wife, she worked there uh, uh, two summers as a wrangler in Steamboat. So, yeah, I, w I went there a couple of times to visit her and we had a road trip and everything and we, we really liked the, the place. So, uh, yeah, we decided in uh, November 2017 to just rent a house there for a couple of months and to see in Boulder, actually, to see how it is and everything. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was amazing. We really liked the place and we ended up buying a house and uh, yeah, now we're there like uh, more often and uh, I did the last three off seasons there. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a great place and it's a little bit similar where I live back in, in Italy. We, live, we come from Dolomites. So, you know, we like the mountains and uh, the, the winter, you know, the snow and uh, four seasons in general. So it's, yeah, it's nice to be there. But guys, more importantly, you're Italian. You have to be a foodie. What's the food like in Colorado? No, actually, it's uh, they have some very good restaurants. So I was surprised uh, when I, you know, went out the, fir the first weeks. So they had uh, they have an amazing food, and uh, yeah, it's uh, depends. I think where you are in the states, it's every part is a little bit different. 
but uh, there was, uh, I mean, pretty good. Otherwise, yeah. I, I mean, I something tells me you, you. Something tells me you're lying for, through your teeth. I mean, uh, Italian pizza to American pizza. No, actually, come come wife, on. My wife, she said, we went to this uh, pizza place and she said this pizza is the best pizza I ever had. Better than the one in Italy. Better so, than Italy. That is a wow, bold that, take. That, that is, is a bold take. That's just that saying that. Uh, I was I was gonna say you two, uh, ATP, our friends over there, were telling us that you two were actually planning on opening up a resort in Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, her parents, they have uh, a couple of uh, hotels back in the Dolomites. And uh, so, yeah, they are trying to help us out a little bit uh, to build something in, uh, in Boulder, Colorado. And uh, yeah. You can, you can find Noah and I on the bunny slopes. Absolutely. Thanks so much for your time, Andreas. <laughs> that was the first Courtside Buzz. Check back for more great information, more great exclusive features on Wednesday.